Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial on uh, S Builder X for Flight Simulator. So today uh, we're gonna make some uh, new scenery, which is pretty cool. And uh, in order to get uh, S Builder X, uh, we need to go to uh, ptsim.com, and uh, this is the main page. Go to uh, downloads. Uh, download S Builder X for FSX. Got the link here. Click download and install uh, S Builder X. I've just uh, come across this uh, software uh, recently. It's been around for a while. I believe it's been around for maybe uh, almost 10 years. But uh, it's actually pretty good and you can do some uh, interesting things. Today we'll just have a look at the uh, photo uh, scenery. Uh, aspect of it but you can do much much more with it I won't go uh, too much into uh, detail anyway once you've um, installed and uh, downloaded uh, as builder uh, you'll uh, you're pretty much good to go if uh, you can't uh, open as builder it's uh, maybe because you've uh, uh, installed it in uh, program files and uh, in your uh, computer, uh, you install it here in program files. Uh, but uh, what you need to do is uh, install it directly uh, after your C drive there, and uh, then you'll be able to open it just due to uh, some uh, Windows permission. So, depending on your Windows version, then you might uh, encounter that problem. If you do, then just as I said, install uh, S Builder directly on the C drive. Anyway, after that, uh, the second thing you need to do is to go to the forum and get what is called the tile server plugin uh, into uh, Google Earth which basically allows you to uh, get into uh, Google Earth and get uh, the satellite uh, images or photos. So in order to get that little uh, uh, server plugin uh, you need to go to the forum and uh, tile server plugin uh, for S Builder X. Here we are Click on that, go to the last page, and uh, it will be here in version 165. So once again, click, download, and install. And uh, once you've got, actually unzip the um, folder, I will give you this Google Server version 165 folder. You can... Uh, unzip it anywhere you want. I've unzipped it into uh, tiles here in S Builder, but you can leave it anywhere you want. Anyway, you need to uh, open that, go on to 8.6 and uh, then uh, copy this uh, Google Server DLL and uh, get into the main tile uh, folder here and uh, copy and paste once again. Um, that uh, Google Server DLL. It will replace the original one you had here and uh, get uh, the latest one installed. So after that you're all good to go. So now we can go to S Builder X. Here we are. Just a grey page initially but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna get it alive. So our project today uh, I want to do a scenery of the island of Elba and the uh, Mediterranean Sea, just off the uh, uh, mainland uh, Italian coastline. So we're gonna call it Elba. Click OK, and uh, the first thing we need to go is to uh, go to the position we want. So the coordinates for Elba are 4275, I believe, and uh, 1024. I've done this video a few times already, but uh, yeah, it's not that easy actually to uh, make these videos. And uh, anyway, it's uh, it's all good, uh, good fun. So then we're going to show background, and here is the island of Elba. So we'll zoom in a little bit. Zoom ten, zoom eleven, and zoom twelve. And uh, here's the airport. So I don't want to do the scenery for the whole island because it would be too big of a file. But I want to do the scenery for just a little bit around the airport and some of the mountains and uh, the town here. So that's uh, really like a background image. And uh, 
what we want to do is to kind of create our canvas if you like so we go to a uh, file add map from background and here it is we've got a new window opening we'll go to uh, zoom uh, 15 and uh, so you can see that obviously um, gives us many more tiles and uh, there'll be more detail uh, what we want to do is uh, click with the mouse and start uh, opening up the uh, area we actually want uh, to use for our scenery so we'll use uh, about this and I click OK it's processing the tiles, about 240 tiles okay finish the download and click OK again processing the tiles and here we are we've got our satellite photo which uh, is actually a BMP uh, image a BMP uh, format a bitmap format image so here we are uh, we can work on that so what I will do is that I will save the project first uh, we'll call it Elba and uh, we're good to go at this stage so now uh, we're going to open uh, GIMP2 which is a photo editor software it's quite a good one, it's uh, free to download on the internet uh, it's not a trial thing or anything like that uh, it's free and uh, it's ready to use so we've got GIMP uh, open here and uh, I go to a uh, file and uh, open try to locate where um, our project was saved so uh, local disk s builder tools work and uh, it should be this one here open it's thinking about it and here we are we have our canvas so that's uh, all really good, so I'll uh, stop the video now. This is the end of uh, part one. I hope you're following the process so far. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, leave any comments and uh, we'll continue uh, the video with uh, part two. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on uh, part two.